quick demo of this video tutorial. In this video, I would like to help Kotlin Android beginners to get started with creating first Android app. We will be creating a simple Android app for calculating age using year of date of birth. Before starting this video, I would like to ask you a favor. If you found this video helpful, please thumbs up this video. If you are new here, please be subscribed to this channel and click on the bell icon to get notification about my new videos. Most of the video lesson here also has a written blog post. You can find the link in video description. You can grab code from the as well. What's up YouTube? Welcome to Code Affection. This is my first video on Android in Kotlin. You can consider this tutorial as an introduction of Kotlin for Android developer. To get started with Kotlin Android, we are going to create a simple Android project, which is age calculator. So inside the application, we will calculate the age based on date of birth. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let me open the IDE Android Studio. Click on this option, start new Android studio project. I will name this application as age app. Then we want to provide the project directory where we want to save this project. For this project, I will use this project folder here. So I will copy this project directory then I will paste that path here. Make sure to check this option include Kotlin support. Now click on next. In this step, we have to select targeted mobile devices for this project. I will check this option here, phone and tablet. Then we want to select the targeted Android version. I will select the old version of Android for this project so that this project will be compatible with most of the Android device. Now click on next. I will select the empty activity template, then click on next. You can treat activity as a page or a screen inside the application. For this fresh application, we will have a single activity, which is the main activity. I will keep this name as it is. Click on finish. So here we have the brand new Kotlin project in Android. For now, I will mention few files and folders, which is important to an Android project. As we move along with next video tutorials, we will discuss rest of the files and folders. First of all, we will have a folder with name app. Inside that, we have three folders, manifest, then Java, and RES, which is for resource. Inside this manifest folder, we will have the uh, files which describe about this application itself. Here we have the uh, XML file, Android manifest.xml. Inside that, we will have some information about the project like name of the application, icon for this application, so and so. And structure of the application is described inside this XML file, Android manifest.xml. Other than that, we will mention required permission for the Android project like media access, then uh, location, camera, so and so. So those types of permission will be described inside this file. Then inside this Java folder here, we have the backend of the application. That means inside this folder with the project domain, then we have the application name age app. Inside that we have the main activity Kotlin file. So this represents the backend of main activity. You can see the front end of this activity inside this resource folder here inside layout folder. So here it is activity underscore main dot XML. So using this XML code here, we will design the application. You can see the preview and XML code side by side here. So by default, we have a text view control with the text hello world. So we don't want to do anything for hello world application inside this project. By default, it shows the hello world text. So that is why I decided to create age calculation app inside the project. Now let's modify the design of this main activity that we can do inside this activity underscore main dot XML file here. For layout XML files, we have two modes in Android Studio, which is text mode and design mode. Inside the text mode, we can see the XML code, which is responsible for this view here. So here we have the corresponding XML. Inside this design mode, we have the whole main activity design. Along with that, we have a toolbox. From that toolbox, we can drag control into this 
main activity here. By default inside this main activity we have two components here. First of all we have the constraint layout. For designing activity we have to use layouts. Like constraint layout we have another layout also linear layout, table layout. We will discuss them in future tutorials. For now we will use constraint layout. In constraint layout in order to position the controls inside the layout we will add constraints on vertical and horizontal axis. For example this hello world text view has four constraints from four sides of the parent such that this control will take 8 dp from top, right, bottom and left. You can add constraints to parent element or even you can add constraints to existing controls also. For example, let me add one more text view here. In order to add a constraint for this text view, we just need to drag this top bubble into this existing text view here. Like this, we can add constraints to left and right to the parent layout, which is this constraint layout. So this is how constraint layout works. Now for this age app, we need two text view, which we have already added here. Apart from that, we have to drag one plain text control and we need one button also. Okay. Now let's design this app with these controls here. So first of all, let me remove this existing constraint here. Then I will place this text view just before the plain text here. Inside this text view, we want to show this text here, year of date of birth okay i will keep existing constraints for this control except the bottom constraint now let's add constraint for this plain text here i will clear the text inside this attributes panel here then i want to name this control for plain text i will use the prefix input so we have input here beneath this control we have a button let's add constraint for this button also i will change the button text from default text button to submit and for changing this control id for button i will use the prefix btn btn submit after that we have this text view here let's add the constraint for this text view also let's change the id of this text view for text view i use the prefix tv so we have tv age so here we have done with designing this app now let's run this application for that you can click on this run icon here then we have to select a virtual device if there is no virtual device you can click on this button here create new virtual device following screens will help you to create a virtual device okay for now i have two virtual devices here i will select the first one then click on ok it will take some time to build this app and install them into our virtual device. So this is how the application looks like. Inside this plain text here you can enter the year of date of birth. Then if you tap on this submit button here then it should display the age inside this last text view here based on the given year of DOB. It is that simple. Let's look how we can do that inside the app. Back to the Android studio inside this text view i will change the text as age initially it is considered at zero now let's open the code behind file which is this kotlin file here main activity.kt in order to work this app as expected we just need to add a click event for this submit button here and we can do inside this attribute panel here i will add a function name here on submit now we just need to define this function inside this Kotlin file here. In order to define a function in Kotlin, we will start with the keyword fun. Then we have to define the function on submit. 
Inside this function, we have a single parameter view, which is of the type view itself. For this view class, we have to add this import statement here, import Android view, then view class. Inside the function, we will declare a variable in order to store the current year. For that, we can use this keyword val, which is for immutable variables. That means once we initialize this variable here, current, uh, I will name this variable as current year. So this variable, once we initialize this variable, we can't change this variable value later inside the code. If you replace this val with var, then it can be changed. That means var is mutable and val is immutable. Now inside this variable we have to store the current year. For that we can use this class calendar. From that we can call this function get instance. From current date we need the year. From current date we need the year. So that we can pass here. So inside this current year variable we have the current year tv age dot text is equal to age equals then we just need to append the calculated age here current year minus minus year of date of birth that we can receive from this plain text control here input year dot text First of all, we have to convert that into string and then finally we have to convert that into integer value. So current year minus year of DOB will return the age. That will be concatenated with this text here. So let's look how this app works now. We are already running this app inside this virtual device here. In order to see the new changes, you can click on this lightning symbol here which is for applying changes. Click on this. After the rebuild, it will open the new app inside the virtual device here. Now you can enter year of DOB here. Then click on submit. So here we have the corresponding age for this given year of DOB. So that's it guys. Here we have created the first Android app in Kotlin. If you are new to Android development, whether it is Kotlin or in Android, you might be excited to see the first Android app in your personal mobile Android phone. So let's look how we can run this app inside your personal phone. First of all, we have to create an APK for this application. So go to build, then click on this build APK here. After creating the APK, it will pop up a toast message like this. You can click on this locate link here so that it will open the file explorer with apk you have to copy this apk file into your mobile phone first of all i will rename this apk file to age app once you move that into your android phone just tap on it then click on install so it will directly install the age app into your personal mobile phone so here we have done with installation you can open the app here if you are trying to install Android app from APK directly for the first time, you may have to change your mobile phone settings in order to allow installation from third party APK files. Once you install the app, you can play with this app here. Okay? You can try this app with your mom, dad or sister in order to find the age with date of birth. So that's it guys. In this tutorial, we have created an Android age app in Kotlin. I hope this tutorial will help you to get started with Android development in Kotlin. If you found this video helpful, please thumbs up this video and for more awesome videos like this, please be subscribed to my channel Code Affection. Please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this. Have a nice day. Bye.